Hey guys, what's up? Some uh, big changes coming up in, well, not huge, but some nice quality of life improvements have happened and will be happening in Diablo 3. Uh, right now, as of today, September 10th, um, the night before, late last night on the 9th, uh, a hotfix went through that a lot of people have been kind of hoping something would be done about this and that is the drop rate of the of Leoric's Regret, the Vial of Putridness, the Idol of Terror, and the Heart of Evil, the four organs you need to craft the Hellfire Amulet or the Hellfire Ring, have been increased on Torment 1 and above to a maximum of 100% on Torment 6. So they didn't do anything about the keys, but the keys really aren't too hard to get. Uh, a lot of people were kind of complaining that the organs, for the amount of work you got to put in to get to the uber boss, uh, the organs were a little bit too hard to get. And then uh, on top of the randomness of the Hellfire Amulet, which is kind of the thing right now that everybody's kind of coveting, nobody really seems like they give a shit about the Hellfire Ring. But with the ability to ha have the fifth passive because of the Hellfire Amulet, people wanted that. So this kind of takes out some of the tedium of uh, farming for what you need and then crafting that amulet. So that's a big help. Um, you know, we discussed some of the other hotfixes that went into effect. They did hotfix an issue where people were able to exploit quick XP to gain hundreds of Paragon levels rather quickly they were uh, completing greater rifts and you could get a boatload of XP just by standing in town because the torment level experience multiplier was in effect so they hot fixed that out so that uh, people couldn't jump up huge torment levels which a lot of people are kind of pissed they feel like that um, uh, the people that used that exploit got an unfair advantage and seasons are ruined, which they did get an unfair advantage. I wouldn't say seasons are ruined, um, but it does make the yet. competitiveness a little bit more one-sided because people were exploiting the hell out of it and went from like Paragon to something to like Paragon for something in a few hours so you know uh, it is what it is unfortunately um, I kind of had a feeling there was going to be things like this happening that season one would have a lot of uh, learning curves and mostly for Blizzard and uh, season two would be where the real competition comes in uh, another thing that's coming up Travis Day left a message on a forum post about the excessive cost of re-rolling amulets and rings because not only does it take the same things that most legendaries take, but you have to have a gem, and people are quickly running out of gems, specifically topazes. Um, and some people were suggesting maybe lower the quality of gem that you needed to use because I mean it is a, it is a pain in the ass um, I don't really run into that issue too much on the regular my regular characters because I have a boatload of money and a boatload of gems but on seasons it's uh, quite uh, annoying uh, I've been kind of shying away from re-rolling too much because of that um, I don't have the gold surplus they have with my main characters and the supplies that I have on my main characters. But here's what Travis Day put, and I'll, I'll read the post verbatim. Uh, this is a topic that comes up with some frequency both internally and externally. We have plans for a future patch that will introduce more uses for any gem you have excess of, as well as a way to increase your ability to get specific gems that you are lacking. Read Topaz. As a general philosophy point, anytime we introduce mechanics that are intended to consume limited resources, this is something that players will encounter. Whether it's gold, gems, or specific crafting materials, these are all meant to be gathered and consumed at varying rates. Inevitably and intentionally, there will be times when you will need 
more of some material than you have. The problem isn't that you are running out, the problem is that the problem is when there is no mechanism for you to alter your gameplay to gather more of the thing that you need. When you run out of blue material, you start picking up blue items you were ignoring before. When you run out of gold, you equip your boon of the hoarder if you have found one, etc. and etc. The problem isn't that people are running low on topaz from enchanting, the problem is that you have no way to increase the rate of topaz you find when you want to. This is what we will be addressing in the future. Uh, I think that's glad they acknowledge that. Um, like I said, it really is. That's kind of mainly. I mean, he hit the nail on the head. The, the issue is, yes, we're running out, but it's not so much that we're running out. We can't go. Like you can't go to Act One uh, in let's say the Fields of Misery and farm topaz. You know. So I mean, that's kind of the issue at hand. Is it's pretty random, and especially Topaz. Seems like, at least in my games, Topaz is rare. Um, and I don't have, like, a witch doctor and a wizard, I just have a wizard. So, I mean, I'm not using them to boost my int on, like, two characters. It's just on my wizard, and I'm running out of low on Topaz as compared to my other characters. But I still have plenty to reroll items and stuff like that. But, I mean, out of all of them, Topaz, I would say, I have the least of. Also, there was some data mining going on, and I'll post this link in the description below to the Google Doc that reveals all of the legendary drop rates for all six classes, what the percentage is for each class to get that item, and um, it's for... Let's see, we got... Uh, season Torment drops and gamble, seasonal normal drops only, Non-seasonal torment drops and gamble, and non-seasonal normal drops only. So, I, like I said, I will post that Google Doc in the description below. You can take a gander at it if you should so want. And I think that's roughly about it. I don't think there's too much else going on. As far as... No, there's nothing really else going on in the world of Diablo at the moment, but um, those were some pretty significant uh, things that will be coming up and have happened and kind of helps people out. But anyways, guys, I'm um, going to keep this one short-ish, and like always, I'm going to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye guys.